Hey everyone, welcome back to Williamson Ridge Outdoors. Today we're standing at the back of the truck and we have our Atlas 80 volt string trimmer out here. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to restring this trimmer. And so I figured I'd just go ahead and make a video and show you how to do it. It doesn't take much time at all. This thing is actually very easy to restring. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the battery out of this just for safety sake. Now I already have trimmer line in the trimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it all out just for demonstration purposes. In the instructions on this or in the manual from Atlas itself, it actually says to pull this head off of here and clean out any debris or anything that would be in there so that this mechanism doesn't get gummed up and you know stop functioning. And then it tells you to restring it or put it back together and restring it but I'm gonna kind of show you both steps, but you don't always have to do both steps. So this can be really fast or just take a few more minutes by doing this way and doing the whole clean out. So if you're having trouble with your line not feeding or you know when you, when you bump the head and it's not feeding out, it could be because you've got debris and stuff just kind of gummed up in here and keeping it from working. So there's two tabs on here, one on each side and we just have to push those in and that will unlock the head. So I'm gonna push that down and kind of pull on it. And then the whole head will pop off there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And I'm gonna pull the old line out. It was getting close to needing restrung anyways. There's not really much debris in here it's pretty clean so we're going to put it just right back in we're just going to line up our tabs and click them right back into place just make sure they're good and snug so on the trimmer head there's actually a little arrow right here on the trimmer and then there's an arrow on the spool feed. So what we're, we're gonna do is actually turn that until those two arrows line up. And then if you look in the side of the trimmer, you actually should be able to see a hole in there that actually goes all the way through to the other side. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this done. I've got a pre-cut 10 foot piece of trimmer line and this is just something I just measured out a minute ago and cut myself. I'm just going to stick it in the hole right here. It's going to come out the other side. I'm going to even it up. Where it's pretty much even on both sides. So we've got the same amount of trimmer line hanging out both sides of the head. And now with the arrows on the trimmer, it tells you what direction to turn the head. So all you have to do is just turn this and it will wind itself up inside there. So the only thing that you may need to do is just maybe keep an eye on your trimmer line and keep it from getting tangled up on something. Now this is a counterclockwise direction. So we can reel it in to where it's just a little shorter than what the cutoff is on it. And that's all there is to it. So I'll feed that back out just a little bit. So that's right at our cutoff. and you're ready to go. It fed out just a little bit and went ahead and cut itself off at the correct length. So now it's ready to use. If you need to check it to make sure that you have fed it the correct direction, you can just run it, bump it on the ground, Each time I bumped it, you can see 
the little cutoff where it extended the line and fed it out just that little half inch to an inch each time that I bumped it on the ground. So that's working right and we're ready to go. I use 10 feet of trimmer line in this because the capacity for the 0.095 says that it is 10 feet and if you use 0.080 then it is a capacity of 12 feet. So I just went in the garage, pulled out 10 feet of trimmer line, cut it off, and then I had my piece. I just stuck it through there and wound it up and we're good to go. So as you can see, that was a super easy process. And also, as you can probably hear and see both, it is raining and I've got thunder going on here and the storm is now here. So I'm gonna wrap this up and get inside where it's dry. Uh, also, I wanted to point out though, this case that I've got sitting here behind me, this is also a Harbor Freight product this is one of their apache cases and i've actually decided to get one of these to try to store my camera equipment and stuff in so even though it's raining right now all my other equipment is in here and it's waterproof dust proof the whole nine yards and i don't have to worry about this rain or anything messing it up so i thought this would be a pretty good little investment to get to put all my camera equipment and stuff in anything electronic so anyways i just thought i'd share this video with you today and show you how easy it is to actually restring this Atlas 80 volt string trimmer. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. Follow along with us for all the projects we have going on around the property. And thanks for watching.